All right, my job in front of me right now is I've just got this ring here, and they want to put those little beads that go on the inside of it, kind of, well, get my hand on the right side, little beads that go down in here. I'm not a fan of them, but ah, people, people like them, so let me show you how I do it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I just take a regular watch and I'll set the ring on here. This red mark is the center of the ring. And once I get it positioned, I'll just stick my thumb here to hold it. And then if you'll look down at the bottom, here's the seven, here's the five. So that way, I'm going to actually have it marked so they'll be symmetrical. All right, now what I'm going to do is go right in the center of the ring and get me just a little bit of a divot so I've got something for the bead to sit in. All right, so the next thing I do is I'm just gonna take a piece of white gold chain here and I'm just kind of guessing about where I want it. And I don't know, I'm just winging it. So now, and why I do it like this is this makes sure that my beads are the same size. Now, I hold it up like this, and I can see my chain's the same size, so now I know where to clip it in half. Now that I've got two little equal pieces of chain, I'm just going to do that number right there. And now those beads are the same size. All right, next thing going to put a little flux on there and I'm going to go ahead and put my solder on these beads but not flow it all the way. I'm just going to kind of get it started like that. All right now I've flexed my little area down there, and there's my divot. I'm going to put the solder side down. Come on, sit in the hole. Now, I can just let that solder flow, just like that. All right, now let's see if we can get this second one in place. Get it to just stick for a second. Cut down it under. All right, let's try this. Again. Let's get this second one in place. There it went. Nice smooth solder flow. Okay. okay, so now you can see that I got the cleats right where I need them to be and they look symmetrical. Now, as we clean these up, I like to just use a cup burr, and if you can shoot right in here. But this is just a burr where the cutting teeth are up in this little cup. And I'm just gonna go in here and kind of clean it up a little bit. There's really not a lot you can do with these. The worst part about putting these cleats in a ring is trying to clean it up and make them look like they're supposed to be there. And you can never clean them up as much as you want, and they are never going to look like they were supposed to be there. So that's just my opinion. But so now I'll just kind of go through here, kind of clean up and polish best we can, and uh, put this job in the finish box. 